Okay, so a little over a year ago, um, I modified a Nerf Alpha Strike Wolf. Um, it, it hits around about the 110 to 120 FPS, depending on what darts you use. And so far, it is one of my most viewed videos on my other channel. I will link this in the description. So, to celebrate hitting 10,000 views just on this video alone, I bought its newer cousin, the Mantis. So we're going to have a quick look at it, and then we'll see what we can do. The basic premise is I do exactly the same as I did to that one, this, but then we'll see if we get any more power out of it. And I've also got a slightly different spring to use, so we should do some damage with it. So we'll see. Okay, this is basically just Nerf Wolf Part 2. There we go. Right, in the interest of fairness, we're going to use the same six darts for both. Or the same three types, I should say. So I've got two elites. Those are the ones that came with the yellow wolf. Two Accufakes, which I've had on hand forever. And then two X-Shot um, darts. These are actually really good because you're guaranteed you'll get about 10 FPS over compared to that. Those are about 10 FPS less than that. And those are about 10 FPS more than that. So... And those aren't very accurate either way, but those are those are your baseline. But then that's ten up, that's that's ten down, that's ten up. There we go. You, maths, it's complicated. Uh, the other thing that we can use to cheat this ever so slightly, my chrono reads about three or four FPS over what a normal expensive chrono would read. So we can gain ten FPS just in the dart, and we can gain can gain four FPS in the chrono. So you know. It's warm in this building at the moment. I have got a bit of sweat on. So, anyway, just to prove that it wasn't a fluke, I'm going to test fire the yellow one again. This is probably the first time I've picked it up since the original mod in December of 2020. So, we'll see what the readings are, and then we'll modify the blue one and see what that is. Okay, so we're going to start with the AccuFake because they run low. That's one thing that makes this blaster impractical, is because of the loading just in there. But anyway, <coughs> AccuFake, just to prove that this isn't me making up numbers. I got stuck in this fire. It's the other thing, because it's such a long barrel, you can't aim properly. <coughs> Try again. Oh, helps if you prime the thing. That's 89. So call it 90, that's about 10 FPS less because of the nature of the dart. We'll try it again. No, actually, we'll keep. Yeah, I'm going to need to do three shots. Okay, so we'll go with the Elite that came with the blaster now. A slightly better barrel fit on an Elite. Easy. So yes, it's a slightly better barrel fit on an elite dart. So we'll yeah, again elite dart chambered. Again, all this is just to prove that I am not lying. And then we're at 97 with the elite with the focus ever. No, probably not. You can read that. And then now we'll try the X-Shot Dart, which is a really, really good fit on the 1732nd barrel. Now this one surprised me when I tried it earlier, just to make sure it was still working. Because I made a, the video and it was all like, yeah, it does 110 FPS. And then it went and did 126, so, again, right. Why is that circle there? Okay, and then again, X-Shot Dart loaded in. disappointing at 98. Something's not quite right there. Did I hit the side or is the dart broken? Hmm. So same dart. Something wasn't quite right there, obviously, because... 
119. So yeah, again, ammunition varies a lot, but this is an Alpha Strike Wolf that will hit over 110 FPS with the right darts. So now we do what we did to this, to the blue one. Right, so first impressions of the blue one, um, you get less packaging, you get fewer darts, and it's three pounds more. Why? Uh, yeah, the grip looks infinitely better, but other than that, it basically looks to be the same damn thing. So we'll pop it open and do a base reading. Again, the same three darts, same three dart types, just get a base reading before I do anything to it. I mean, I, I've got to be honest, visually it is definitely nicer. I definitely like the darker orange with the, the blue. So it definitely looks better, and the grip, the grip is really nice with this plastic cover. Um, the problem with the other one is that you try and choke up a little bit, so you end up bashing in up here. And it, it's actually slightly more comfortable. That's improved the feel by at least 20%, I'd say, so let's just try to prime it. Yeah, still got a slightly annoying ridge just here, which gets into your wrist. But other than that... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you can... Right, well, that's because it's still got the AR in. But anyway, okay, so we'll do the stock test fire, and then we'll start taking it apart. Okay, so, again... Same three darts, um, there will, the, the dart fit in the barrel will be looser because I haven't lined it with brass yet, so we'll give it a whirl and we'll start with the lowest one, which we know to be the Acker Strike knockoff. Yeah, see that went straight in, doesn't go all the way down, that's unusual. Okay, so, this is stock, I've done nothing to this yet. 65, okay, so now we move on to the Elite. Yeah, the air restrictor's definitely in the way. Cool. Gone up 5 FPS. And now we go to the one way. Next shot dart. Okay. Next shot dart. Well, only 71. So, stock. 71. Modified. 110. So, okay. Now, I hope I can beat that with this, because <clears throat> the plan, other than doing exactly the same thing, is to actually use a 9 kilo spring this time, rather than just some random spring out of the box that might have been out of a retaliator, or it might have been out of a party cracker, I don't know, it was roughly 6 or 7 kilos. I got a 9 kilo, 9 kilo out of a sharp fire, which should fit quite nicely. So I'm hopeful that that'll break... I'm hoping that I can make this break 120 regularly. If I can get 130, that'd be lovely, but I can't see it being that much better. But we shall see, we'll be surprised. So our next step is taking the bodywork off, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. I just spent three minutes recording. Okay, so. <clears throat> One of the questions I'm asked frequently is how do I get the shell off? And you got two different types of clips with Alpha Strike. You've got this type, which you can see quite clearly there, and then you have this type. <coughs> and to be fair, all you need is a small, thin, flat blade screwdriver. With the with this type, which has got the visible pin, you go in from behind, you leave it down, and it'll just pop. You don't need much pressure, because otherwise you'll just break something. Okay, and those that type will always work. Pretty much like that. Every Alpha Strike blaster I've done that's had one of those, it's worked like that. Now this type, see how we've got an orange piece and a blue piece? Well, it's the orange piece that's holding the shell and the blue piece is just there to, to secure it. Um, it looks to me like they've used a slightly cheaper plastic on the orange because this one is already sort of wearing out a little bit. But you basically get your flat blade screwdriver again you could use a slightly bigger one if you wanted to and get it inside there so you've got the sticky out blow bit underneath and then you just lever it and then with a bit of pressure from your thumb that's it done and then you do all of those 
like that. Okay, so the next time you see it, this will be off. All right, um, once you've got the blue shell off, uh, I've taken the barrel extension off as well, which is, again, just one clip that you can get out from inside the blaster and then just bonk, off it comes. So again, no solvent weld. Uh, and then here we are. There are, that's, that looks to be slightly different, but the, this thing has literally got two clips holding it all together. And you have to be careful with those. Um, but then other than that, it's all self-contained. Uh, don't worry about sorting anything different with the trigger because that's molded in. So what we'll do is we'll crack that open, take the AR out, which hopefully will be the same, rebarrel it, put the new spring in, see how we get on. Okay, so it's the same again with the uh, the plunger. You literally have this, this clip and you have to lever it over this wedge but in this case you have to be very careful because these do tend to break and also if both of them break it's, it's kind of the blaster knackered there isn't really much in the back here that will hold it in I think looking at it no so I mean I imagine you could at some stage try and reinforce it in there but uh, if you were putting a massive spring load in then yeah but you literally have to do it one side at a time and then work your way around because it'll do that but then when you go to do this side it'll probably pop back on around there and again just careful okay right let's see all right yeah yeah because that side's clipped back on that side's pop back on so you need to sort of work at it like whoop at it like that until it both comes off and then in order to take the plunger assembly all the way out it'll get stuck but then you need to depress the trigger because it's caught on the catch there we go that's out and then you get a straight shot yeah this looks to be almost the same design if anything it's got a slightly thicker AR baffle anyway to get that out if we can Get a shot of it. Uh, that's going to be tight. So you see that black that black piece in there? We need to get that out. I tend to use a four-inch screw, and where the uh, where the holes are, just really lightly screw into that, and then just pull. That's how I tend to do it. And then the AR should, in theory, fall out. So we'll try that. I'm, I'm hoping that that isn't glued in. That's a fairly solid. AR cover, so yeah, well. well, that's so basically that's the, the cap for the AR, and it's only those two holes in it that are allowing the air through. So, never mind the fact that it's got an AR in it, they're limiting the airflow. I wonder what I'm, I'm just going to take the AR out and try this now on the standard spring. Because that is, look at that. That's probably the thickest piece of plastic on the damn thing. But anyway, um, take that out. The AR falls out. I don't know if you saw that. There it is. That just falls out. And you're left with a straight shot. Oh, it's really awkward getting the camera in there. Straight shot. Uh, when it comes to barreling through there, I will drill the dart peg out and put some brass in it. But... I'm really curious now, I just want to do a test fire. Um, I won't video it, but I will report back in a second. I would have to re-watch the footage that I've recorded so far, but um, that's made it 84 with the X-Shot Dart, which originally was 71, I think. So that's like 13 FPS just from removing that. So nice. So yeah, next thing to do, upgrade the spring. I'm gonna upgrade the spring and then I'll rebarrel it. You've seen me do that a thousand times. Um, it, if you want, there'll be a link to the original video so you can kind of see where I'm heading there. Also check out my, my previous Alpha Strike Tiger vid. I go into more detail about how to change springs on, on these. So I'll link to that as well. Um, but next time you see it, it'll be assembled and we'll do a test fire. Damn. Okay, 
um, it's back together. It's got the upgrade spring, brass insert, which you can just make out in there. Um, we'll see. Uh, bear in mind that the wolf over there averages about 110. Again with the egg shot dart. So we'll see where we are here. I'm honestly not expecting much difference because I've basically done the same mods to the same platform. It's just blue, so we'll see. So we'll start again with the lower end. For some reason that's a slightly better dart fit. It makes no sense. Oh. Yeah, just prove I'm not faking. I'll do it actually on camera. I'm trying to aim something soft to slow the mess. I heard it'll do. Okay, so. Okay, so that's 102 with the AccuFake. That's pretty good. So now we have move on to the Elite. Ooh, definitely a better barrel fit on this one for some reason. Okay, so Elite again. Load it up. Try to keep as much of it on camera as possible. That was a misfire. Definitely a misfire. I'll try that again. 30 FPS when I just got under something's not right there. I think it's me. Let's see you up a bit. Oh, tripod. So yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna try the um yeah, the misfire. So now we'll try the Elite. Yes. So again. Load it up. I don't want to like, put as much on camera as I can. Okay. Now I did some test fires and I wasn't happy. Something has occurred between me doing the test fire and me starting my recording. Okay, so. <clears throat> now we're on the X-Shot dot. Oh, that's unusual. Hmm, okay. Let's try another Elite Dart, make sure it wasn't just a fluke. Oh, I'm back in the chamber. Focus up, please. There's something you can't really aim. 101 this time. Okay. Try another X shot. Primed, yep, okay. I'm just curious now as to what it'll do. 119. Now these are brand new darts as well, so there shouldn't be any fitment issues. Another egg shot, because why not? 170. That 130 must have just been a fluke. So yeah, there we are. 120 FPS. Yeah, call it, call it. We'll round it up. Why not? Round it up to 120. Um, it's not even. It's not war practical. It's a pain to load. But if you just, that's an AccuFake 73. It is not. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's erratic. So the elite, 111 with an elite. I'm just going to keep doing this all afternoon, so I better end the video. 117. So yeah, it's it's basically the same mods on the same blaster, just in a different colour. So yeah, there we are. That's the Nerf. Alpha Strike Mantis LR1, also known as the Nerf Wolf Mark II, also known as the Blue Alpha Strike Wolf. So, right, That'll, that should keep you going for six months, <laughs> the rate I put Nerf videos out. Right, see ya.